What's up? It's Phil from Fair Will Exposed. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about why I like the snatch grip, power shrug, a lot more in the rack pull above the kneecap. So a lot of you guys know me as the guy who was doing a lot of rack pulls slightly above the kneecap, maybe a year, a year and a half ago. But this is not the case, and this has not been the case for a long time now because I found methods that work a lot better for the reasons I'm going to describe in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first reason as to why I like the snatch to power shrug a lot more than the rack pull above the kneecap is because it's less time consuming and it bends bars a lot less. So a lot of these guys doing these super heavy rack pulls above the kneecap, they're bending a lot of bars in the gym. You know, they're bending one bar, they're bending all of them, but not only is this gonna mess up your training because it's gonna be hard to do presses, rows and stuff like that, but you're messing everybody else's training, everybody else in the gym is gonna be mad at you and it's gonna start a lot of controversy and that's not what we want. You know, we don't have to bend every bar in the gym just so we could get a trap stimulus. There's other ways to get more out of less weight, and that's what the snatch grip power shrug is all about. So obviously, instead of loading up, you know, 1,100, 1,200 pounds just for a par really partial range of motion, you could do a snatch grip power shrug, and maybe now you only have to load up maybe 800 pounds. So you're getting a lot more out of less weight. It's less time consuming. And since you're using less weight, the bar is gonna bend a lot less. Okay, secondly, when you do the snatch grip power shrug, the straps are way less likely to rip as opposed to if you're doing something like a snatch grip, rack pull above the knee. So in the past, maybe one or two years ago, I tried out the snatch grip, rack pull right above the kneecap, and the straps actually ripped on me twice, which is actually really dangerous when you're holding you know, close to 1,000 pounds in your hand. That's why I stopped doing the lift completely. But when you're doing the power shrug done with the snatch grip, you don't have to use as much weight. So you're gonna save your straps, you don't have to get straps every month, and you're just still getting a good trap stimulus overall. Okay, so thirdly, and this is probably one of the most important reasons at the mall, is that you're getting more range of motion and you're getting more carryover to your snatch grip high pull. So the snatch grip high pull, it's a lift I've been talking about quite a while, got a tutorial coming very soon, but you're gonna get way more carryover from a snatch grip power shrug, you know, done close to ear level than you would with the rack pull right above the kneecap. So that's a huge benefit right there, the range of motion's good. So when I talk about the snatch grip power shrug, I'm talking about the full range of motion, I'm not talking about like these quarter reps that you see a lot of these guys doing because the range of motion is already short to begin with. So even if we go all the way up, we're not talking about a huge range of motion. So we're not doing static holds. We want to get the weight from point A to point B. So let me just demonstrate real quick. You see a lot of guys doing their snatch grip shrugs. And when the weight starts getting heavy, you know, they get past 600 or something, you'll see something like, we don't want that and that's not going to carry over to the high pull where we want. So if we want to get stronger at the bottom portion of the high pull, you want to do your power shrugs like this. So fourthly, a lot of people are going to say, Phil, when you're doing the rack pull above the kneecap, you're getting way better stretch because you're lifting heavier weights. But I actually disagree to a certain extent because when you're doing the rack pull right above the kneecap, right? One, you're not getting much range of motion, okay? You're doing, you're doing this, then you're putting it down. So you're not getting constant tension on the traps. You're pretty much relaxing. So if you're doing a set of five, you know, you're probably at the top for a second, and then you're at the bottom and there's no tension. On the other hand, when you're doing the snatch grip power shrug, you know, pretend this was like 600 pounds, right? Unrack it. My traps are under tension right now. There's 600 pounds on the bar, right? And also, when I'm bringing it down on the eccentric, my traps have to catch the weight. So there's no catching component when you're doing the rack pull above the kneecap. You know, it's just it's an isometric hold, which definitely has its place, but you can't disagree with the fact that when you're doing the snatch grip power shrug, there's constant tension at the bottom, and when you catch it, you know, you have to catch that heavy weight. So it's really bang for your buck overall. Also, another important thing to mention is that the snatch grip power shrug is done with a wide grip. And if you know anything about the wide grip, it stretches the rhomboidal through protraction of the shoulder blades. So to maintain this upright position with heavy weight with the wide grip, it stresses the upper back, the traps, and the rear delts a lot more than a clean grip. So that's actually why I talk so much about snatch grips all the time on RDLs, deadlifts, rack pulls below the knee, back extensions, and stuff of that nature. Yes, yeah, so there you guys have it. Those are the main reasons as to why I like doing the snatch grip power shrug 
over the rack pull above the kneecaps. So I actually don't do any rack pulls above the kneecaps in my training because the snatch grip power stroke has so many benefits to offer. Now, if you're curious about variations, you could do the snatch grip, you could do the semi-snatch grip, and for two more variations, you could add bands. You could loop them right under. So now you could have snatch grip power shrug with band tension, with the semi-snatch and the snatch grip. So that's four variations right there. Those are my top ones. And don't forget, there's also the classic power shrug. Even the behind the back one is OK. But I like to roll with the snatch grips for the most part. As far as the rep ranges are concerned, you could do a Bill Kazmaier style. You know, you're doing like 50 rep sets. But I actually don't like to go below 10 reps on power shrugs. So I'll pretty much live in the 10 to 50 rep range. If I really want to torture myself, maybe do a set of 100 every now and then. But that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Try out the snatch grip power shrug. Let me know how it feels. Remember to do full range of motion, none of that quarter rep stuff. And let me know how your traps respond. I'll see you guys in the next episode.